My Highness, it's so good to see you, sir. I am sorry, sir, I'm sorry. I have been working to change the iron to gold, but it has not worked just yet. I know we met a fortnight ago. Or was it a night ago in the fort? I don't know what it was. <laughs> and you said you would have my head. I'm sorry, sire. I, I, I'm useful to you. I'm wise. <laughs> May I pose a story or a question to you, sire? Who in the eyes of God has more worth? Is it the papa who has small means? Is it the Lord who has moderate means? Or is it a king such as yours, sir, who has large means, if you know what I mean, sir? <laughs> Gold. <laughs> Three distinct people before the eyes of God. The Papa, the Lord, the King. And I pose this to you because in the eyes of God, all men are equal. Because it is written, the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor the bread to the wise, because time and chance happeneth to them all. These unique fellows may be unique on the earth. They are all separate and equal, sire. If I may display my power to you one more time, sir. <laughs> sir, did you see? You weren't supposed to see that, sir. I'm, I'm powerful. There's no trickery here. I promise, no trickery. That's for something later. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. <laughs> Sir, I'm useful, I swear. <laughs> A lot of means, yes, sir. It's Excuse me, sir. Just one moment. I'll be right with you. I'm powerful, sir. This is just, it, it's, I don't know what it is. The burn of the rope and the crowning jewels, sir. What? Almost done here, sir. Sir, I swear I'm almost done. Oh. Hey! Is there a draft? Sir. I swear, I'm useful. I, please, not the head, I'm attached. I've been attached for 30 years, I swear. Let me tell you a story of how I came into your court. I was raised in the streets of London, and I wanted to be an alchemist. So I went to Spain to study under the Moors. If you want to learn more, you go to the Moors. <laughs> I learned the power of alchemy there, and it was time to come back and serve under your lordship. And we set sail on a Spanish galleon with four masts 
a beautiful sight as it set sail. But as we hit the Atlantic, a storm came up. The rigging was torn from the sails. The crew washed overboard, and only I and the captain survived. The captain held tight to the helm, trying to steer as best as he could. And I, as an alchemist, came to the rescue. Yes, I, sir. I took some magic rope, just as I have here. I tied it to the sails. I tied it to the sail over here, and I tied it to the sail over here. And I was able to control the entire mass by these two ropes. As I pulled on this rope, the sail would come up. As I pulled on this rope, the sail would come up on the other side. Isn't that amazing, sir? I'd pull on this rope, it would come up. Pull on this rope. We were able to sail quite well, despite the storm. Do you believe me, sir? Some people might not. They might think this is trickery. The rope goes through the stick, over to this stick, and back down. I don't think so. No, definitely not. Definitely not. See? Works just fine. And this is what I did during that storm. I was a brave man, not only of magical means, but also bravery. Some people might think that the rope goes from here to the back and up front. Nope. <laughs> sure doesn't. All right, all right, I will prove it to you. That's what I said. <laughs> the only thing that you must be careful of is to pull the right cord. Because if you start pulling the wrong cord, then things start going haywire. Let me show you, sir. If we pull it. If we pull it. And then you're able to fix it. Just like this, sir. Just like this. But if you pull both cords, you don't want to do that because you break the damn sticks. <laughs> damn! I can use magic, sir. I'm useful. Please, please. Do you know how you fix them? You just wind them up. Just wind them up, wind them up. And there you go, sir. One more fortnight, one more fortnight, and I will have your gold. That was good. Thank you, sire.